Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the intersection of two lines as shown here in the syllabus. The formulas for the equation of a straight line are given on page 5 of your formula booklet. Lines that have different gradients are not parallel and will intersect at one point. The coordinates of the point of intersection will satisfy or fulfil both equations. In the example shown, the equation of line L1, the blue line, is y equals 2x plus 1. And the equation of line L2, the green line, is y equals negative x plus 4. And as can be seen in the diagram, the point of intersection of these two lines is the point 1, 3. Substituting 1, 3 into the first equation gives 3 is equal to 2 times 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3. And substituting it into the second equation gives 3 is equal to negative 1 plus 4, which is also equal to 3. So the point 1, 3 satisfies or fulfills both equations. In general, if lines L1 and L2 have the equations shown, and if the lines L1 and L2 are not parallel, then they will intersect at one point, and the coordinates of the point of intersection will satisfy both equations. To find the point of intersection of two lines, you need to solve the equations of the lines simultaneously. You might be able to do this algebraically. However, in most cases, you will just need to be able to use your calculator to find the point of intersection of the two lines. And you can do this by either drawing the graphs of the two lines on your calculator and then finding the coordinate to the point of intersection, or by using a simultaneous equation solver on your calculator. In the example shown, to find the point of intersection of the two lines by drawing graphs of the lines, on your calculator, from the menu, select Graph. And then press F2 to delete any previous equation, and F1 to confirm that deletion. And I'll scroll down, and I'll do the same for the second line, pressing F2 to delete, and F1 to confirm the deletion. To type the first equation into Y1, press 2 and then press the variable button, plus 1, and then press execute to enter the equation. To type the second equation into Y2, press the negative button and then the X variable button, and then plus 4, and then press in execute to enter the equation. It's usually good to set up standard axes, and we can do this by pressing Shift and then F3 for View Window, and then F3 again for Standard Axes, which sets up an x-axis from negative 10 to 10, and a y-axis from negative 10 to 10. Then if we press Exit, and then F6 to draw the lines. To find the point of intersection, if we press F5, G solve, graph solve, and then press F5 again for an intersection. And we can see that the point of intersection of the two lines is 1, 3. To use simultaneous equation solver to find the point of intersection of the two lines, we first need to rearrange the equations into the form ax plus by equals c. So for the first line, L1, subtracting 2x from both sides, as shown, and for the second line, L2, adding x to both sides. Then on the calculator, if we press menu and select equation, and then press F1 for simultaneous equations. 
pressing F1 for two unknowns, pressing F2 to delete any previous coefficients and F1 to confirm the deletion and finally pressing F1 again for two unknowns. Entering the coefficients for the first line, so it's negative two, execute, one, execute, one, execute, and then onto the second line, entering one, execute, one, one, execute, and four, pressing execute again. And then finally pressing F1 to solve the simultaneous equations. And as can be seen, the point of intersection is the same as before, 1, 3. In this question, we're asked to find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the two roads. To solve the equation graphically, we need to rearrange the equations into the form y equals mx plus c. The first equation is already in that form, so in the second equation, Subtracting 2x from both sides gives y equals negative 2x plus 5. So to enter the equations from the main menu, if we select graph. And again, pressing F2 to delete and confirm deletion of previous equations. And then we can type in our two equations. So first one is y equals 3x plus 15. Press and execute to enter it. And the second one, y equals negative 2x plus 5. Press and execute to enter that one. And then press in F6 to draw. We've already got a standard window set up, so we can just press F6. Pressing F5, G solve, and then F5 again for an intersection. Given X equals negative 2 and Y equals 9. So the roads intersect at the point negative 2, comma 9. Alternatively, if we wanted to use simultaneous equation solver to solve the problem, we need to rearrange the equations into the form ax plus by equals c. So in the first equation, subtracting 3x from both sides gives negative 3x plus y equals 15. The second equation is already in the required form. So if we then press menu and select equation, Pressing F1 for simultaneous equations. Pressing F1 again for two unknowns. Now we can actually overwrite previous coefficients, which is probably quicker than deleting them. So for line one, we enter negative three, one, and 15. And for line two, enter two, one, and five. And pressing F1 to solve the simultaneous equations. Given the same answer as before. So again, the roads intersect at the point negative two, comma nine. 